Let's face it, there aren't many new open world games released this year, but if you're looking for a big open world to get lost or distracted for a few dozen hours, there are plenty to pick from. Here's our list of the top 7 open world games to play right now. Starting off with the number 7 we have, Red Dead Redemption 2. The game was launched approximately 8 years after the first game. With the prequel, Rockstar Games did more than simply create another Red Dead Redemption, giving an unrivaled western pact with shootouts, chases, armed robbery, and drunken debauchery, and so on. The gameplay takes you on the dying era of outlaw exploration rather than just telling you where to go, resulting in hunting rare animals or a bounty target. Okay on to number 6 we have, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla. The most recent Assassin's Creed games have been fantastic open-world experiences that are a must-play. Valhalla takes you to the Dark Ages, where you will travel through England as a Viking warrior, Ever, in search of a new home for your clan. Build your settlement colony, meet new friends, forge new alliances, and go exploring to solve mysteries and find hidden treasures across England. Gameplay improvements have achieved milestones from Origins and Odyssey both titles are well worth your time. Moving along to number 5 with Ghost of Tsushima. Sucker Punch, known for their expertise in open-world games, chose a completely different approach with Ghost of Tsushima. The settings in the game are breathtaking, with flowing fields of beautiful red flowers and trees swaying in the breeze. It's a realistic take of the samurai game full of swords, blood, and violence. The gameplay is stunning, whether on foot or horseback, especially when you come across another samurai who desires an all-or-nothing but fighting and plot are also excellent. This is a game not to be missed. At number 4, we have The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. One issue with huge open-world games is inconsistent storylines and side missions, but this isn't the case with The Witcher 3. This vast open world is home to various quests ranging from battling monsters to aiding an old lady in locating her kitchenware. The fact that a game about magical talents to fight off monsters can be fun while you're dealing with someone's family problems or lost kitchenware speaks about the game. Unfortunately, no official word on The Witcher 4, but we do have some great Witcher 3 mods to play in the meanwhile. Down to number 3 we find, Days Gone. Getting on your bike and driving across the Pacific Northwest is elevated to something extraordinary by its stunning horde fights, scope, and fascinating storyline. The only thing that detracts from its forced stealth missions, which can result in instant failure if you are not cautious. Missions range from clearing out forts to exploring a research facility to rescuing people from the Ripper cult and so on. Days Gone deserves to be on our list, whether you're playing it for the first time or returning to discover the creations of the modding scene. Coming on number 2, No Man's Sky. When the game first came out in 2016, the outcry was brutal, but recent upgrades have pushed significant enhancement in this space exploration game. The open world is so vast that it is impossible to see it all, allowing you to avoid completionist stress and enjoy the gameplay with the unusual creatures and vegetation you encounter while you hop between planets. VR compatibility has been included in recent updates. Finally, at number 1 we have, Far Cry 6. This sixth installment of the Far Cry series is a large open-world first-person shooter with a gripping plot and exciting activities and missions to do. The enemies are a touch too predictable, but the gameplay is always enjoyable, with plenty of weaponry to discover and personalize, and the fantastic pets like crocodiles you may bring with you are the icing on the cake. The graphics and audio are both of great quality and incredibly immersive. So there you have it, 7 open world games to play now if you want to immerse yourself in a virtual world. Please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more game recommendations. And we'll see you again soon in our next video.